Hello, welcome back to Lady and the Frogs. This is me, Linda, <laughs> Lists and Frogs. Um, I've got another haul. It's been a particularly good week going out sourcing, even though I've sort of, I've, I've been here listing a fair amount, but decided to go out to a few different places. Um, it's the time of the month and I was convinced that it was going to be horrendous and it hasn't been hence why I've been out to charity shops because I just thought right it's not going to happen because toilets are closed due to covid made up rules and I don't want to be caught short but it hasn't so the only thing that I can think of is that because I've been back out there and I've been walking around and I've been you know getting my exercise carrying heavy bags I kid you not this is this is what I got today. So I've carried both of these back today. So I think because I'm doing that and I'm generally doing two or three miles walking a day when I'm out sourcing, so at least three times a week, I swear that that is what's helped my health. So, you know, this whole lockdown thing has made my problems worse and I'm so angry. It's just another thing for me to be angry about. So there we go. Exercise, so important. Right, I'm going to jump into this because I have so much here. Um, it's been fantastic this week and I'm, I'm being picky. I'm being picky and yet there's loads of stuff. So God, um, I intended to go, so I've been out on Tuesday. I did go out yesterday. Yesterday, the place that I went to yesterday, one of the shops was closed and um, the other one seemed like it had been raided. So this Salvation Army that I like to go to, I only got this dancing leopard top, which is really nice. I thought it was three pounds, but it was 450 when I got there. So it's a wraparound thing and it's looking a bit weird. Cold shoulder, um, but I should be able to get 25, I would think, for that. 20 at the worst. I need to get all this on my spreadsheet because I've just had a big ironing session and tidy up and move stuff around. And, and I've got these, I've got some boxes here that I need to put my stock in. Um, and then this other Vans t-shirt that I got there, which was three pounds, um, but that's got stains on so i need to think about that um so that was all i got yesterday um saw some celebrities but didn't know who they were just stared at the paparazzi and thought what's their problem <laughs> so <laughs> not a clue not a clue um I, I have got a clue well i know it, it was somebody from liverpool football club because they were playing Man United and they were at this hotel that I walked by. Anyway, that was it was a dead loss sourcing. And but, but it was good to get out and I'm really glad that I did get out because it's put me in a better mood for what I've been how I've been feeling. So then I went out this morning because I just I wanted I actually wanted to see how I was going for, you know, day two of what we all know. It's sometimes a tragedy. I don't know. Anyway, fantastic items that I've got. I've spent 90 quid, I think. No, 80 pounds this morning. Uh, so I've got a Paul Smith t-shirt. This one's one of these cool ones, which has the stripy zebra on it. I don't know how much these go for. I haven't checked them. I just want to get them in... My storage box is away and on my spreadsheet and that's another paul smith um i did get i didn't really have a look at these i think that's got a stain on it but you know two pan two pan can't can't complain i think they're large not the spirit so there was some really good stuff only one new rail came out and i just didn't want to spend all morning there so i fled having spent 90 pounds, 80 pounds, 80 pounds, 90 pounds I think I spent the other day. Um, that's just a Bowden top, which I probably would have left behind 
because it was just grey and crap but it has got stripes on it so it shouldn't be very difficult for it to go medium bowed in two quid should be a 15er um some basic shorts which you know when the weather bucks its ideas up or when we're actually released back into society we should be able to get some decent money on them these are i always want to say heli handsome but they're not they're under armor but no issues check them carefully because they're light colored and there is no staining um these are two again these are shorts so they should be okay and it's brand new with tags so they might well have left them behind and it's size 16 and it's two quid um you know probably 11.99 these were in with the women's wear but i most certainly think that these are men's <laughs> don't think that women are going to be wearing this and this is actually ted baker so yeah it's got some quite nice details on it and it says five the world is your lobster so get them on while this is going to be a little bit of a friend's hoopla i believe Oh man, I wish I'd checked this a bit more carefully. I was checking the con the actual content of it and there's a somebody spilled the soup all down it. So that is just a cropped blouse. It's got linen in it. It's three quid. It's top shop. Top shop seems to be doing all right with me. Um I'm happy to sell that for 15. It's just a shame that it's got a stain on it. But you know. These things will come out in the wash. Ta -da. Ah, ah. Um, a velvet skirt. Oh, jazzy. And that's under the stories. Be hit and miss under the stories. Yes, 10. So that's size 14, apparently. Is it? Is it really? I'm going to do some modelling there. We'll see, we'll see. I think this is, no, this is damsel in a dress. Now, damsel in a dress usually are a bit more, you know, of an exciting print. But, you know, people have got to go back to work at some point. Damsel in a dress. It's got nice detail on the zip. And it is only two quid. And size 14, you know, people will be looking for things. I've heard some, well, somebody I was chatting to in the charity shop said, well, I'm here looking for... I'm here looking for clothes for work because I'm I'm too fat to fit in my old ones. This is Nicola Far here. I nearly left it behind because it's wool, it's dry clean. I'm going to put you back a little bit, and then you can see a bit better. So it's you know it is a decent lagen look on, which is why I thought yeah I'm going to take it back and I'm going to try and wash it, but it is. A dry clean thing so it's going to go on a hand wash it is quite delicate somebody's dropped their dinner down it um thanks very much and they've also embraced a cat maybe not sexually but they've definitely embraced a cat while wearing the dress there's another top shot find this is a size eight but i think it's quite cute um i think it will sell quite easily Chiching got a cool little detail on it. So now I've put myself too far away. Yeah, top shop, top shop, nice little dress. This one is one of these ones that's had the label cut, and I stood there like a dunce for ages, thinking, "What's that?" So then I had to type the RN number in and do a search for it. But I mean. I should have known. I know that that's monsoon. Um, and I nearly picked it up anyway, just based on the fact that it's got a really pretty design. And I just thought, whatever it is, and I know it's some brand that's quite decent, so... And um, it's got the original belt with it, so I did come back with that. I'm sure it's size 16 as well. Yeah, it's size 16, so yes. A cut tag, but butterflies nice floral print 
and then I did the same thing, nice floral print, another one of these Topshop finds, ditzy, I, don't, I, I, don't, I hate writing the word ditzy on things, I just think it's a bit derogatory, but I don't know, that's how you sell things, isn't it? This is an, another and other stories, sheer top, which, oh no, I've spent three on that. I probably should have left that behind, but it will be an, an easy 15. And now my nail is broken. Why is all this, this is because I'm constantly like yanking boxes around and fiddle assing around. This is just a basic top green khaki sort of, well, you know, army with tie detail, but East is no longer around and it does sell quite easily. Stuff like that. Bit silky, but I think it is only viscose. What have we got here? Probably Topshop again. Yes, another Topshop one. Um, labels all over the place with that. And I'll come back with that because obviously it's animal print and animal print is easy. One bag down, another bag. I probably shouldn't be subjecting the all to this. It's probably going to be like really boring for you. So this is all menswear, I think. This was in the menswear. But that's under the stories as well. And I don't think under the stories do menswear. And I'm fairly sure, certain this is a dress. It sure looks like a t-shirt dress to me. I know it's a bit like some of these prints that um, Ted Baker do. Um, so I'd say four, US two. So it would be a, an eight. I really think that that's women's wear. So I grabbed that and then what? I was leaving stuff behind. I have a lot of Ben Sherman. Um, so a Ben Sherman polo. Let me just rattle through these Ben Sherman things because Ben Sherman isn't that thrilling and it's not that, you know, you don't get that much money for it. So short sleeve shirt. Um, I think these two are Ben Sherman. So this is a different label by Ben Sherman. Not sure how much that sells for. Plectrum, designed in England. And then it tells you what a plectrum in is, is in case you don't know. So I've got two of these Ben Sherman plectrum shirts. I'm going to see how they do. I'm probably going to be putting them on for about 20 unless I find out that there's some revelation that they're worth, you know, a million pounds. But there you go so those two ben shermans and then another jazzy one there which isn't if this isn't typical of ben sherman so i would think maybe i could get 25 for that but we'll see because it's got it's got some more it's got better details on it so although it's ben sherman i think i might be able to get the 25 for that and then in the same ballpark, we've got Fred Perry, just a nice long sleeve check shirt, 20 to 25. Um, so this is Common People. I've got a linen shirt listed at the moment by Common People. It's got a whole host of interest on it, but obviously it hasn't sold yet. There just seems to be this reluctance with sales, although I'm making sales, not like a huge amount. But I've got that to sort of see how we go with that. So again, 15 to 20, I think, on that. This is probably a mistake. But it was a really cool... Well, I think there was a few things that I sort of picked up and then put back. Um, but then... This, I did think, I'll take the risk on it. There's not really that many um, solds with it. So what's that? Wilson and Sloan. If you put in Wilson and Sloan, you don't get many responses. But if you put Wilson Sloan in it, it seems to come up with more. But I thought the print was quite cool. 
but again I think it's only going to be a 15 pounder then this another cool print but this is by Soviet and that's not got a mad resale value however you know there might be a load of you know lads who are desperate to get Larry on holiday you know this late summer who will require something like that so I'm hoping I can sell that and then what have we got I have got two things by Merck so that's the label this woman who, who serves she always undoes the buttons and then it just aggravates me later <laughs> so I sold Merck before and I sold it for at least 25 if not 30 but it was like a harlequin print so this is just a basic check shirt so i should better get 20 for that and then i got another um one from that brand merc london which is just a short sleeve so i'm going to see how they sell through hopefully they'll be okay i'm always a bit dubious about this brand as well abercrombie and fitch um shorts great tops not so good but because this is nautical you know i thought right let's take a risk on it it's quite a nice soft jersey fabric so i thought i'll see if i can do any good with that so that's in the large hopefully 20. and then what have we got oh, these are women's jeans so the price for their jeans is fantastic two pounds um these are white company size 12 and i didn't see any harm in grabbing them because i just thought holy guacamole what can possibly go wrong at two quid and then a jazzy pair of shorts which should fly out the door at 20 to 25 they are only small but they're joe browns so there we go so that's today's that's what i got today and then I've got a pile of stuff there okay so this is a combination of two places that I went to oh, what am I doing with my life what am I doing so another top shop thing no this is top man obviously but it's the same thing top man originally 25 but new with tags decent the guy at the till said that he would have snapped that off if he'd seen it so i went to two charity shops and i also got that that day now this particular game this is the exact same copy that i had growing up so this is like the 1977 version of it no 1970 is this on it but so this i really regret getting rid of it because this was my brother's game this is complete um i do i really love it i paid one pound fifty for this and i i sold it for 40 pounds the copy that my brother had and did really well with it and although i've picked that up um you know it should address the regret i also what am i going to do with the game downfall really there'll always be another game of downfall coming into my life so i probably will be selling that for 40 but i will hold out for 40. so the rest of the bits that i got were clothes um again same place again two quid so this is all the stuff i got on tuesday that's the stuff i got today friday this is all the stuff i got on tuesday it's just like an absolute minefield these are levi's levis Levis shorts for two quid, easy 15 to 20. Another one, uh, what's this color? Salmon pink. Um, yeah, same again, but what can you do when it's two quid? I checked this over and over again. I've had this brand before, and it was really ditched the one that I had previously, Patra. 
and it sold really quickly but it might be because i priced it cheaply so i thought no harm in getting that i should be able to sell that quite quickly um i don't know what i'm gonna ask probably 15. um another top shop thing here i think this is new with tags this suggests that that charity shop has got a load of their liquidated stock so this is a really nice little top I would think that they probably would have liquidated stock. The trouble is being in Manchester is you get a lot of the liquidated stock, but it's all pretty little thing and boohoo. And, you know, it's just becomes tedious looking at it. So to get the top shop stuff is quite nice. So this is really, it's a really cute little crop little top with very odd detailing, but you know, with it being new with tags, should be quite an easy sell. And it was originally 42 and I've paid three for that. So quite pleased with that. I don't know what I'm going to ask for it. Maybe 20. I've just sold it 20, maybe 30. I mean, you definitely get 20 for it. <laughs> yeah, so I'll probably try for 30 region because I've just sold a dress for the 30 region. Um, these are jazzy. Jazzy! Yeah. I mean, maybe I should like put these on, you know, because, you know, I'm, I'm getting to a certain age where you have to be loud. So they're River Island, and I'm sure these are my size. Oh, I can't remember. I can't even remember. Oh, they're size 18, so no, they're too big for me. Um, right, so they're going two quid I would hope I can get 20 to 25 and uh, then these are Marks and Spencer's of uh, trousers hopefully 15 to 20 I'm a bit dubious with Marks and Spencer's it's, you know I get a lot of Sainsbury's and Marks and Spencer's but it does take me a while to get rid of it um, but these are linen so they should be appealing, you know, if the summer turns up. Then I've got this weird off the shoulder bar bardo thing. This is by Guess. This is hit and miss, this brand. So we'll see what we can do with that. I thought something would come off it then. It's just one of those random hanging things that nobody ever uses so they're just there for fun yeah i i mean maybe i should i should better get 25. oh if only it was a normal world and festivals were on then i've got a pair of shorts there by dickies uh dickies not the best of brands but you know shorts are shorts shorts are quite easy to sell to men for some reason Probably because they're all strutting around with their shirts off um, in their shorts. That's the, that's what they do, isn't it? So this is a 2XL. I wish I'd left this behind. I don't know why I've come with this. Navy blue. It's Michael Kors. You know, I'm not going to get any more than 20 for that. Michael Kors isn't really there. Then I've got two pairs of Calvin Klein jeans for three quid. Quite chuffed with finding them because they're almost brand new there was more than one pair but some of them would look really dubious and fake but i'm fairly sure these are fine they look fine these are distressed in a way that makes you look like you've probably got the wrong thing but yeah i i know that these are genuine my husband's had the real thing which he bought from the trafford center so i know what the real thing looks like so hopefully 25 for each of them then i've picked up this i'm always a bit dubious about armani because some of their stuff always looks a bit shady but this this looks quite genuine on the care label and it's linen i'm going to stand up yeah linen trousers definitely an easy seller Another pair of randomised white trousers. 
which you can't see because it's the same colour as my wall. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, then mint velvet. It's getting quite hard to find mint velvet, but it's, I don't know. These are size eight, so I'll probably be stuck with them until doomsday. Uh, these are XL, but they're very big XL. And these are Nike. But again, shorts are easy to sell and particularly um, larger sizes. Nike, the Nike stuff I tend to put on for 15 because it's just 10 a penny, isn't it? But I tend to sell it quite quickly. Um, I don't know why I've picked these up. I don't even know if they're men's or women's, but I would think that they are men's. I'm not sure if that's toothpaste or bleach that's on there. <laughs> um, Timberland. I've sold footwear of theirs. That sold really quickly. So it's probably why I came home with that. Probably a bit of a mistake. Oh, this, this has got my name all over it because this is... EMP. Um, you might have seen in one of my previous hauls that I had EMP. This is one of, because I'm a bit, you know, a bit goth and rock, I get a lot of, you know, targeted advertising for rock brands. So I know that this is a rock brand. Um, this one's covered in cat hair, but it's a really cool dress, which I'm tempted to keep for myself because it's hooded and oh, I just I don't know this this is really me but the last two AMP things I had were men's shorts and they sold within a day of listing both of them even though it was like staggered days it wasn't just a fluke I just sold them straight away for 20 quid so <laughs> yeah highly recommend if you see that uh, another dress these tunic dresses by Manta Ray, they were quite popular. You can sell them easily for 20, which is what I'll probably ask. But with uh, Debenhams not being here, people who are a fan of them will be turning to the internet. And then I've got another pair of Texas Stretch, which these are another one of these things, which I sold my last two. I had one and then I put another one on use the template so I've still got that template so they'll sell really quickly again I think these are 38 it's really weird it's always the same size no 36 so similar size but yeah they'll fly out of the door I got 30 for them last time if you're willing to hold out you might get 35 another this is a really nice size adidas top an easy 20 to 25 on that another pair of nike shorts smaller size but again an easy 15 you know for two quid i'm rattling through this because it must be pretty tedious really so this is stuff i got from the other shop so these would have only cost two pounds each regardless of the fact that that says four um that would have been two pounds i don't know why i actually came back with that one because there was a pair of diesel jeans but they were called tin tinum not tin man i keep thinking it's tin man but it's tinum but they looked like they had paint on them i couldn't work out whether it was intentional but this is tommy hilfiger oh, it needs sewing so another sewing job for me to do but thankfully none of the beads or anything are missing and i thought well two pounds will be I'll easily be able to get 20, yeah, 15. And a Hugo Boss. Um, this is the paddy top. I did check this before I came back with it. Um, the last paddy top that I had, it was striped and it wasn't so bloody gaudy. I mean, obviously, I don't know. If, I mean, obviously, men seem to wear pink now. Um, you know, they're quite avant garde now, men. Maybe we're feeding them estrogen. But it's green label, it's called the paddy, it's a golf top, hence paddy, I don't know what who, who paddy is. <laughs> but the last one I sold for 30, 
are within days of listing. Then I've got a Do Champ basic shirt. I'll only ask 20 for that because I think it's a bit much if you ask too much for Do Champ. It's not it's not the 80s anymore. I need to look this up. This is a nice t-shirt with sort of like glittery bits on it. But it's something called Henley's and I'm not quite sure what that is. So, you know, don't quote me on that, but it was two quid. Then this is Michael Kors. Missing a belt, but really nice. It's got really cool straps on the sleeves. So I think, I really think I'll be able to sell that quite easily. And it's a medium and it's nautical and it does need de-bobbling. So some of this stuff is a bit of a faff. Um, I've got another Adidas t-shirt there, a really cool looking one. Adidas. Mm, yeah, Adidas is, is quite good. It seems to sell through quite quickly. And then I've got a Hobbs t-shirt. So this one's only two Hobbs, but really cool print on that. So that maybe 20. Um another dress. Just a basic tunic dress. No, it's a flare dress, isn't it? Has it got pockets? Don't know. Um 14, it's a decent size, and it's Joe Brown's. So 25 possibly. Um Another sort of animal print dress. It's Bowden. Bowden seems to be doing quite well. I think this is linen as well, so um, that should be a 25er. Maybe that some of these are even going to be more. I just don't know. 25, I would think, for this. Another flare dress. And then. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this one's quite cool. Um, different label, Joe Browns. Um, doesn't say what it, size it is, but yeah, definitely happy with that. Another Adidas spell out, large size, decent, decent whites. Checked it for staining. All important checking for staining. Um, these are in easy sell if you don't price yourself out of the market on them, because obviously they're everywhere. Um, yeah, it converts, it is what it is, 15 to 20. Bring you soon, gonna stop boring you. I've got another dress here. What's this, shirt dress? Yeah, I, I need to look this one up because obviously some of these Hobbs ones, that's what it is, it's Hobbs. Some of these Hobbs ones are really nice and I suspect this is one of the really nice ones. So this may be 32 to 35. Still got the button bag on it. This doesn't have the name on it, so I have to type that thing in and see what it is. It's just it's really nice fabric. It's only viscose as well, but it's really nice. So hopefully that'll be okay. I think that's a size, size mania as well. Oh, it's a size 10. Just oversized then. Just oversized. So this is one of these brands that I'm familiar with. Hell Bunny. I still haven't listed the ones which I decluttered from my own wardrobe. So this won't be staying with me, but you know, I can't resist a goth brand because I do know my goth brands and I'm hoping 25 for that. You're always on a bit of the slim size. And um, this is Farrah. I absolutely love this shirt. I've had it before. I sold it for £30. Farrah. It, it, um, immediately, it's not apparent what it is, but it's dinosaurs and cavemen. And it's so fabulous. I think it was slightly bigger than the one that I had before, but. I sold it for twenty for thirty. 
yeah I definitely sold it for 30 so I was pleased to find that that was on a new rail coming out and then the last find two quid I mean you never find this brand or well, I don't you know it's not like it's a coat or anything Helly Hansen t-shirt um, with all the flags on it so really pleased to find that I don't even know how much they sell for I need to look that up so as you can see didn't intend to go list didn't intend to go sourcing this week but I found a stain on this aye, aye, aye. I can get that out anyway yeah I'm really thrilled with what I've got this week obviously I'm just making myself more work but everything goes through the pipeline I will put them on my spreadsheet and they go in these boxes and then when I have a day of listing I pick up a box and I go through it all and I iron it all which is what all this is and then I iron it all and photograph it so I'm gonna have a big photographing session then it goes on there and then I list it so I have a little process so these go in there and then I sort of work through them these boxes so I have like four of these stackable things there is another one here but the guys are sitting on it <laughs> so that's the thing it's important to have a sort of process in a pipeline you know because if Boris Johnson you know maybe he'll have a long Covid symptom his menopause will start and he'll go right lockdown again for you demons of the population how dare you question me lockdown for you at least i know that if there was a lockdown i've got a whole host of stuff to do and pipeline 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 is the important thing so thank you for watching um, and one day i will do a sales video but there's so many things to do i i will be doing accounts i will be doing all sorts of things i will be listing i am sticking to 10 a day and that seems to be working Although I've only had one sale today, but I haven't listed anything yet. But, you know, I've been out. I'm feeling better than I thought I ever would for this um, moment of the month. And I'm just happy that, you know, exercise is the key. Everybody, exercise and diet is the key. The NHS, just another government institution. Don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. They trapped us indoors for nothing. Right, I'm gonna crack on. I've got too much to do to be sitting here yapping and it's 20 to flipping two. No, 20 to three. My ability to tell the time has left my soul. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you enjoyed the madness. Okay, bye from Stephen. Go and do something better.